Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen using a video filter called Chroma Key. Let me show you how to do it in ScreenFlow 9. So here is the footage that you saw at the beginning of this video. The top track is the webcam video with the green screen behind me. It also contains the audio. Below me is the desktop recording, so that blue that you're seeing is just my desktop. So we want to remove the green screen from this top track, the one with the video and the audio. I'm going to mute this just so it makes it easier. So I'm just going to click on the mute button here so you don't hear the audio. To remove a green screen in ScreenFlow 9, first select the clip or clips that you want to remove the green screen from. Then go over to the inspector panel. Make sure you're on the first tab, the video properties, and come down until you see video filters. Just twirl down the arrow to expand it. Then click on this little plus symbol. At the very top, you should see chroma key. If you don't see it, just do a search for chroma key. Then just click on the add button. ScreenFlow will automatically try to remove the green screen, but you may need to adjust it depending on your lighting. You can toggle on and off the chroma key filter by just checking or unchecking the box next to chroma key. You can also use this with a video action. This is handy if maybe you want to be talking for a little bit. You could add a video action, snap your fingers, then just check the box to remove the green screen behind you. Maybe have some cool effect behind you. When you add the chroma key filter, ScreenFlow will try to automatically produce the best results so you don't have to do too much adjusting. But sometimes, depending on your lighting or your camera, you may need to make some fine tuning to remove the background or maybe to remove some artifacts from your face. For example, you can see a lot of gray on my face. The background doesn't look good. So I'm going to start with the tolerance slider. I'm going to bring that up to about 15 or so. Now you see all that gray on my face. That doesn't look good. I'm going to go to this angle. I'm going to bring that down. So that's looking pretty good. To crop in the sides or the tops and bottoms of your green screen footage, this is often useful to remove unwanted background items. Just select the clip on the timeline, and then press and hold the control key. If you look at the bounding box, as soon as you press the control key, it'll go from a circle to a rectangle. And when you see the rectangles, all you have to do is just pull in from the sides to crop the footage. With the bounding box, you can also resize it or move the footage anywhere you want. So you can just simply drag it around or pull in from the corners to resize it. To remove a green screen in ScreenFlow 9, select the footage on your timeline. Come over to the inspector panel in the video properties and go down to video filters. Just twirl it open, click on the plus symbol. Look for chroma key, select it, and click on add. And one other little tip. If you click on this little color swatch here, this color picker comes in, you can just click on it and try to move it until you get a better key. And that looks pretty good. So click off, make some adjustments if you can. To crop in, select the footage till you see the bounding box. Hold the control key, you'll see it go from circle to rectangles, then just drag in and resize as needed. And that is how you apply the chroma key filter in ScreenFlow 9. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.